hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to make ponyoro man or ramen i hope many of you watch studio ghibli movie or some call ghibli and here i input this image and scaling this image we are going to use this image as a reference for bowl and here i taken poly cylinder and please give this value I have given here and now tab and we are here on front view and I'm going to scale this cylinder matching this bowl size and here I select vertices and pulling down and then I'm going to faces mode select all faces and with control select deselecting down faces and extrude those face from top and scaling outside now again hit G and extrude and scaling out selecting these edges and bit outside and here select all faces and deselect down faces keeping top face and extrude those face with G pressing G on keyboard you can use last command you have done you used here I using extrude so I am repeating that process like I am pressing G extruding and then scaling outside and now we are the top so now we going to extrude inside we going to extrude and scale inside and for few times we are going to repeat this process extrude and scaling inside trying to follow flow of those this bowl shape and going to repeat few times same thing and now here we done almost done doing extra now I'm going to do here one more time and object mode I hit 3 on keyboard so it take me on smooth mode and hitting one on keyboard you can go back to hard mode and here I'm using edges and making some part hard to appear in smooth mode so I'm giving some volume there by inputting some edges edge loop and in middle one and here almost done with adding edges edge loop and we got this part left so selecting all faces and going to extrude one time and scaling inside now I'm going to selecting 
dos edges and with shift and right click on mouse and deleting those edges i don't want and i'm going to use multi cut tool and selecting two point and with hitting enter i getting this edge and repeating this process few time same thing we are going to do inside that bottom part hitting one going back to hard mode and selecting those edges with shift and clicking and i'm now going to shift and right click and delete those edges again going to take multi cut tool and selecting two point and hitting enter now i hit three and able to enter smooth mode and now object mode we are here almost done with modeling bowl and i'm going to delete that reference image and on top view i'm going to input another new reference image scaling move and moving that image now we going to model arm create polygon tool i'm using and clicking on shape and with enter i am done with drawing because that lower part is on top so i'm going to reverse that face and now i'm going to extrude on hard mode and delete this part now trying to match that lower what lower part by selecting what i said i'm moving up. I'm adding this bowl and hiding in layer so we can focus on this hum model link and selecting those vertices and deselect them by control and moving them outside So here and there I am adjust 
those vertices and on smooth mode I'm trying to see it's matching shape or not and now going to select edge in one mode on hard mode by pressing one and here I'm going to do same in lower part selecting lower edges and fill hole now I'm going to use multi cut tool and selecting point and hitting enter so just follow we are shown here with alt and using mouse I am moving this view and with that I am also selecting those point Follow step I am doing here.
On here we are almost done. Just little bit left, adding some edges. selecting that edge and with shift right click and delete that edge adding one more edge by multi cut tool connecting this and enter and here I am done with 3 I enter in smooth mode and here I am moving here and there trying to match reference image those vertices Working on hard and smooth mode both at once is really good for modeling. And here I am done with pictures to vertex. that middle part little bit looking hard so I'm adding the edge loop on top and on bottom I add one edge and with D I'm going to duplicate this control D. right now I'm first Select center point of view, third point, and duplicate, second one, and rotate. Moving down. Taken one polygon cylinder and giving this value and scaling this this I'm going to use for spraying onion. I think there's fault. Selecting those two face up and down part and extrude those and scaling inside top and bottom part.
I'm going to add edge loop on that middle part up and down. Now I have taken one spear and here I am going to give value selecting half part of that spear And now I think I'm going to delete those edges, top and bottom, with shift and right click on mobs and delete those edges. And here I'm going to fill this all. scaling now I'm going to scaling selecting all those vertices and scaling inside giving exit slope almost like that selecting down but as is trying to adjust them and going to select edge and going to fill hole with one now with multi uh, I'm going to add some edge selecting point one on top and one on bottom and with enter again doing side For undo you can do control J. And we almost done with adding edge selecting this I'm going to extrude and scaling in hit 3 and we have here our half except edge loop on the outside and here we are done with making that now we are going to fill that bowl Here I am taking another spear giving here value and going to delete half 
start from bottom and going to scale match hitting 3 I am entering smooth mode trying to match ball and scaling again Just and scaling. How are we going to fill with those other object? in group I am scaling this control G select those uh, select those object you want to move together otherwise when you are trying to scale they are goes in different direction when you scale or move differently trying to rotate with insert you can able to go in this point and you can see that yellow line we turn now right now green I try to move that and again with pressing insert you able to come out that moving so you can change your power point and now I enter in select what I say is more and going to select soft selection it help you sometime to move nicely object without damaging and able to fit you well like you can see here I'm trying Almost done those part now on middle. I'm trying to adjust and now it look all good and I'm going to turn off that sub selection mode and now I'm going to take that egg and place in bowl on minus 19 the first rotor and I change the value follow those value on brackets and I'm moving inside bowl scaling little in making small than before that again trying to rotate and adjust and 
and now that onion part and I'm going to duplicate few cylinder from this cylinder to match I'm trying to make similar to that bowl image and also adjust this little well I'm going to use few time soft selection mode I turn on that soft selection mode by clicking two time on W when that move tool and I'm here trying to adjust those buttresses turn off that soft selection mode select the searches by twice clicking and scaling inside doing bit other cylinder as well and here we done with the spring onion thing and I find this little bit hard so I'm going to add add edges on middle two wage make that 
हाफ सिलेंडर स्मूथ सो हियर से पॉजो लुक बी टॉप आफ्टर एडिंग दोज एज सो एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट वर्ट एस एज ऑफ दोज एज सिलेक्टिंग दैम फ्रॉम टॉप व्यू एंड स्केलिंग इन साइड विथ हिटिंग थ्री ऑन की बोर्ड एंटर इन स्मूथ मोड एंड स्केलिंग इन साइड सो आई कैन एबल टू सी हाउ इट्स लुक इन स्मूथ मोड वेन इज राउंड एंड इज लुक नाउ मच बेटर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू यू वी अन रैपिंग सो फर्स्ट वी गोइंग टू डू विथ हार्म so in uv in planner mapping i use y x for uv mapping and now i'm going to select those down edges from all side and i'm going to cut and after that going to select uv cell so those are now two different part and trying to rotate with on middle part you are able to rotate but it's little hard for me to move on right Now I'm going to unfold with shift. If you click on unfold, you are able to enter this box, and you can choose different different option like non vertical, horizontal, or a unfold. and here i'm done with and it's look good so now i'm going to adjust scaling and adjust both part top and bottom in this one and scaling down and here we done and wrapping that um and now going to save use snapshot and you can browse and save wherever you want in that place before saving and first i select that how my done you are wrapping and then uh, select another which i don't have and i'm going to transfer that to it and here that another one also i was am you be unwrapping it save my time because both are same So I don't have to do same thing again. So if you have a similar, then you have to select one you done UV unwrapping, and select other. And go to the other mesh and do that. And here I find this one is okay. So I'm going to save like this. I'm not going to do more for this. Bring the new thing. I want to save this. Also, 
cylinder has and UV and I'm with this one so I'm not going to do anything and save this and whenever I'm going to apply texture it will be same forever and here I'm going to use planner mapping in planner mapping I have Y axis selected and here I'm select this outside edge and I'm going to cut so you make apart from that other UVs and I can now select UV cell so those two different part I have here now I'm going to unfold them let me first change that I'm trying to flip and trying uh, rotate earlier inside one you have seen that one was looking more pink than purple so I flipped that one and now and pull both part and with selecting UV cell I'm going to move rotate and moving in one graph session that and after that I'm going to save UV snapshot on my desktop so here we done with unwrapping egg as well and now I'm going to save Now I'm going to save snaps out of that cylinder and here again I give a planner mapping on Y axis I'm going to save those are outside so I'm going to scale inside this UV I'm going to save UV snapshot and here we're going to do for bowl so I use cylinder UV mapping follow where I am showing here so now it's taken all about so it first look like this we are here need to do some works separate some UVs and make them look well so for one object you need different UV planner for mapping for this bowl I am going to use I use this cylinder mapping and I am going to use also planner mapping on Y axis so here I am on select the bowl and other thing I add in layer and hide them so I can work on Bowl. Now I'm going to select faces.
here I select push from bottom I'm going to use your planner on yx because it's on top so you can see on uv editor i have select that one and here i forget select this one so i'm going to select this edge and here i'm going to stick together then one group of uv in different direction so you can use stick together so it's perfectly stick there and now i'm going to use this select this down faces and going to apply same thing i have done on top going to use planner mapping on y axis and going to move this outside that bracket this bow will have a different color outside and inside so now those round face inside we have to select them now here on top edges i selected and i given cut so it's cut from that connection and here i'm selecting all faces when you click double you select all faces it so then again i open and i'm going to do cut selecting all faces double click double click double click and double click and selecting all and now i'm going to cut those so you can see in your editor they are apart from outside face so that uv cell is different from outside you can see that clearly in viewpoint pot when i was working inside faces i made one mistake those extra one line i add on round face so i'm doing again those middle down part selecting all faces and now again going to uv and mapping with yx selecting this thing accidentally i take on this ring on that round so you are mapping on y axis and now we done all i have to do is adjust all on that one so this one is in from inside that round ring and now going to scale down with after that i'm going to move inside this 
and now going to select that down part middle part from inside and moving there I'm going to scale so they not overlap UV on each other and here we done with also unwrapping bowl and I'm going to save this UV sa snapshot object mode and also now I'm going to delete history and take an polygon cube and going to move side we are going to hear model chopstick scaling and making small that cube and select those vertices and scaling out from side and moving Uh, here I'm going to do be well so it's add edges I make look bit hard in smooth mode and here we are almost done with chopstick Control G in group I am moving this chopstick. this object little making small I'm moving and I'm going to duplicate control D once I done with that I'm going to do control D and 
and here i done the painting this all texture so for our bowl i have taken pong and you can see value for spring onion i taken blend for egg i also taken blend you can see those value and for ham also i taken blend and ch for chopsticks chopstick also as well and for those noodles thing i duplicate that spear and given that glass mia martial and down there another one for noodles i given blend and here bump map i'm changing a service to row and this value i have given the i painted those all texture in photoshop if i going to record them then it took so long so here i just given ready made and here i taken point light i'm going to change in density value and going to on shadow now i'm going to render setting going to change and roll to mantle ray final gathering is on and global illumination is on and on top bar you have to go in apex and in clears you have to create 3d container i'm going to delete environment base image and i'm going to pull this container up and here i'm going to select this and scaling and trying to adjust now i'm going to select only ammeter Select. After selecting emitter, I skill skill emitter and adjust emitter. And here follow value I'm giving. So we are trying to achieve here. That smoke coming from bowl. ignore that red warning sign and just focus on value i am here giving i'm where i giving now you can see there's smoke coming out from emitter so we done with making smoke using dynamics effects i'm going to make transparency layer not too much but you can change here you go don't want to so heavy smoke so i can transform and say on low and here we 
done with making smoke it's coming out of bowl and now I'm making environment base image and taking here as a DRI image I'm going to change those Here I'm going to change point side for I'm going to upload a texture in one folder and going to view that link in my description in video so please check and here I am going to showing how to batch render so thanks for watching my tutorial and please share subscribe me and all image folder link I am going to give okay. so thanks again have a nice day bye